Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is a beginner's tutorial for Kerbal Space Program for the career mode, which is something a lot of you have been seeing me play lately and something I think a lot of people are wondering about if you're first trying to get into Kerbal Space Program and get into playing that career mode rather than just the sandbox where you have no kind of limitations, you want to get into quests, missions, things like that. As you've probably noticed, when you first start playing Kerbal Space Program in career mode, you don't have a lot of parts. And the way you get other parts is by unlocking them in a process that we call the science uh, research tree. Uh, well, whatever it's called. <laughs> it, it might not be called that, it just occurred to me, I have no idea. But basically you have all these different technology unlocks that you can get, and each one costs science points. So right at the top there you see that little uh, atom symbol, we have zero, zero point zero science points. And then on here we need, you know, basic rocketry, we'll get us more engines and things, engineering, we'll get us different science -y tools, and we need science points to get all of these because, of course, the goal of the space program is to enhance science. But how do you get science? A lot of people don't really know how you can start getting it, and essentially, you get science in these games by doing research as part of your space program, as part of your projects. Now, this tutorial is not to show you how to get tons and tons and tons of science, so if you're just beginning and you are, well, if you're, if you're a little, if you're not just beginning and you already know how to get basic science, this one's not for you, but if you just don't even really know how to start approaching science, I'm going to give you a basic, basic tutorial of how it works and how you can start accumulating your first science points. So, essentially, we're going to go to the vehicle assembly building here. I'm using the Xbox version, but this is basically the same on PC as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how science works in principle in this game. And essentially it's about researching things. So I'm going to make a craft here that is very, very, very basic. We're going to have a command pod, a parachute, blorp, uh, an engine, and down here there's a little category called science and all the items in the science bay essentially store different modules you can put on your ship that are all about doing scientific experiments so what you want to do is basically find opportunities to send experiments into space but we don't even go to space need to go to space for this so i'm just going to take this very basic craft this is just this is one of the most simple crafts you can make in kerbal space program uh, hold on, let's just change these commands in case I actually need to do something here. So you may be wondering where the science comes from. This is just a very basic building craft. This is how everybody gets their first science points. And it's really simple. We're going to just take this very simple craft. We could do it even more simply than this, but this is just a nice beginning. We're going to go to the launch bay, and like I say, you get your science points by performing experiments. And what you need to do is essentially use your various different opportunities to file reports or to study experiments at different heights, locations, velocities, things like that. So on console version, well on Xbox I'm pressing X or square if you're on PlayStation, on PC I believe it's right click. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is basically just in our little crew cabin, we're just going to bring up the details here and go here to crew report. Click on this and look, you record the crew's assessment of the situation. Recovery, 1.5 science. We're going to store that experiment. What this means is we've basically had our pilot here just give a report of what the planet is like. He's just filed a basic scientific report. And we've never gone anywhere, so we have science to do here. So there we go. That's a little bit of science. And then uh, this stuff here, the mystery goo, which is a thing we put on the side. Same thing. We just click on it. We go look at the mystery goo. Three science. We've basically studied. The goo doesn't seem to be doing much now. We have conducted a, an experiment. We put the mystery goo on the ship, and we saw what it does if we don't even take off. There we go. Done. And now we're actually going to do something else, too. I'm going to take... Uh, I'm, just gonna make, I'm clicking on the hatch. I'm on the, <laughs> the Xbox version. I'm still learning to use the Xbox version. It's a little fiddly. Uh, we're going to right-click on the crew hatch. Jebediah Kerman here, and we're going to put EVA. This is what you basically do to get your pilot to leave the vessel. Press this, and then we're going to get a crew report from outside. Okay, the console version's been a bit... 
<laughs> I'm still learning to use the console version UI. There we go. Right click on the pilot, get an EVA report. I learned to do mostly on PC. There we go. We get two pop false science for that. Keep the experiment. And then we just, you know, board the ship again, recover the vessel. We didn't even take the vessel into space. You know, nice and simple. Recover the vessel. Wait for the slightly slow console version to finish loading. I'm on an Xbox One X. We still have these loading screens. And uh, there we go. We collected six science for that. Now, that's not a lot of science. Don't get me wrong. I understand. But then if we go look at the upgrades, that's enough to get our next two upgrades, which is pretty simple. I'm going to go with basic rocketry. doesn't really matter which you pick. You know, that's, that's based on your own, uh, your own particular trajectory you're interested in. And then from there, it's basically the same thing. What you've really got to do is put your rockets in different circumstances and try different experiments. Now, you'll unlock different things as you go. So, for example, you'll unlock thermometers, air pressure barometers, all kinds of things like that. And your early science, the way you can get your early science points and really get your project going is basically to launch our rocket do that. So I might have that set a little bit loud. I do apologize if you've been... I've got my TV speakers off right now. Um, there we go. We just launched our rocket into space. Isn't that great? Isn't that delightful? And then look, we'll just check the mystery goo at, you know, 7,000 meters. Is it doing anything different now it's been launched into space? Look, we have seven science points for that. File a crew report. Now we can see from the sky. There we go. And uh, should we bother with an EVA? I think it's probably going to drop too far for it. Uh, now, the other thing too important to remember is you have to be able to recover your vessel to get it home. So essentially, you have to to collect all this science, I'm going to have to do a safe landing. I'm not going to show that on the video because that's not what this is about. And believe me, I am I am capable of, <laughs> of safely landing a rocket, just about. Although we'll be a little bit slow here. Probably be better with a decoupler. But when this uh, rocket lands, I'll be able to recover it nice and safely, where I will be able to claim uh, my 10 or so points, which will get me to the next one, which will let me buy more parts to go even higher and see that mystery goo even more, or unlock a thermometer. So that's just the very, very basics. Uh, if this wasn't for you, if you know all about that, feel free to ignore me. But if you are just getting into playing Kerbal Space Program, you want to know how to get your first science points, that's basically how you do it. That's how you take your first steps in career mode. Just... Find experiments, try them on the ground floor first. If you land your rocket somewhere very, very far away from the landing pad, do an EVA report, test out different scientific experiments in the water, in orbit, in space, while the ship's hot, while the ship's cold, all those different things. And that is how you first start getting into science. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful to you. And uh, I'll see you as I play a little bit more Kerbals on the channel. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I, I see this rocket's coming to ground. Should we see if it survives? I think I... I think... I think... Oh! Oh! Yeah, there we go. We're gonna land that. I didn't think we'd have time to see this land safely. But we went for it. There we go. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope this was useful to you. If it wasn't... Uh, okay. And if it was, I'm glad. Thank you for watching. Okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Blarp. Oh, well, do you know what? I can actually show the recovery now. How much science did we get? You don't have to watch this, but you can go. You don't have to stay for this. I'm just curious. There we go. We're up to 23 science. That's a whole new set of unlocks. And then if we take those science points and put it on, say, engineering, that's that little thermostat there. We can then do a thermostat. We can do a temperature read on the ground and in space again. Same thing. Just always look for that science category on the side. Look for new experiments you can put on the ship. And just remember, always analyze on the ground as well as everywhere else. Uh, science is just as valuable if it's done on normal Earth gravity as it is everything else. Well, Kerbin gravity. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.